So Google's new VO 3.1 model is absolutely mind blowing. The first frame to last frame feature changes everything. We're talking about creating full cinematic videos, not from hours of editing, not from film crew, but just from two images and a single prompt. Now this opens up a whole new world of content creation. You can bring your creativity to life with stunning animations, generate entire ads automatically, and even control the camera movement, the start frame and the ending all with precise detail. Take a look at these amazing examples and then I'm gonna show you how to generate this using no code automation with the click of a button. All right, so let's take a look at this monster one for instance. As you can see, this is the start frame where it's just basically a sketch or a drawing and then the end frame is just the standing of the monster. But as you can see the animation using viewpoint three, it comes out of the image, the monster kind of stands up and it really maintains that precise uh, quality of the image so that way it doesn't get lost kind of in the in the picture there and then the second one for instance we see the sketch of this designer basically creating this new dress and as you can see kind of transforms into this model wearing the dress in the runway again these things are uh, could be used for different types of advertisements it could be used for creative purposes for creating a stunning ads and then also for like i said for content creation and then finally Here's another great example of how this workflow automation could be used. This is like a picture of an empty room. That's the first frame. And the last frame is kind of the uh, end results of which would be the furnished um, room. And then obviously this is would be something for an Ikea or something like that that you could use to as an advertisement. But as you can see afterwards, just the animation, how the the room kind of gets designed, everything kind of gets put together. So you can use your imagination to really create um, ads for furniture for whatever it may be you can add the first frame the last frame and then also a prompt and then that will generate this entire ad so that's basically what's possible uh, where we can you can use your imagination like I said to create anything you want here all right so those were the few examples now let's go ahead and take a look at this workflow so I could walk you through and show you how to build this again if you have never built anything with AI or automation this is a no code solution so you'll be able to just follow me along all right let's get started all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with a quick demo and then I'm gonna walk through the different notes step by step so that way you can see exactly what it looks like so you can build it along. Anaden is a no code platform. If you're not familiar with it, you can go ahead and sign up for a free account, link in the description. Once you create your free account, you'll come in here and this will be your blank workflow or your canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring over the workflow and then I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the different steps. So I'm just gonna head over to my community. This is a bit of a advanced level. So I have to go to the advanced sections and it's this one first last frame bo3 so i'm just going to scroll to the bottom and download this file so this is the n8n blueprint the great thing about n8n is that you have the ability to import and export these json files that are basically pre-built templates so the way to import it i'm just going to click on these three dots import from file and just basically bring over that workflow that i just downloaded and this is going to bring everything over for me so let's go ahead and take a look at quick demo i'm going to click on execute workflow now this is going to pop up this form this form is basically the trigger it's the first step so what we need to do is we need to upload a first frame a last frame and a prompt for the animation itself now the way to generate the first frame and last frame is you can use chat gpt or claude or something or gemini google gemini to create like your own images so for instance um like this is a good example i'm going to use that example of that monster the pencil sketch monster coming out of the page because i think that's a really good example of what this looks like but essentially this is like a sam sample first prompt that you can see a real realistic pencil sketch of a monster creature drawn in a spiral bound notebook the creature has long claws the mechanical pencil lies nearby the lighting blah 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 all of that good stuff it just complain explains uh, the prompt for that image again again this is you know optional you can use whatever prompt you want use chat gpt to come up with your own prompt but this is the sample of the first image since i've already uh used these images or created these images this is just an example and the same thing the last frame here and then this will be the vo3 prompt so i'm just copy this vo3 prompt so i'm just going to copy that and then going to go back to my n8n here so let me open that there you go so the first frame is that image that i generated I already generated it so i'm just going to uh bring this up so it's this one i use chat gpt uh, but you can use gemini as well and then this was the last frame and then now i'm going to go ahead and paste that prompt that i just prompted and again this is just the animation prompt uh, same thing you can use chat gpt to come up with the animation prompt for vo 3.1 so i just said animate the scenes as the pencil drawing of the monster begins to move 
comes out of the paper, stands in the room, blah, 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 all of that great stuff. So all I have to do is click on submit. So once I click on submit, as you can see, now this is gonna upload these images into Cloudinary and I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. And then now it's gonna go through the rest of the process here, the rest of the workflow to create the image for us. So we're going to be using file.ai, uh, this particular endpoint, which is called VO3.1 fast, first, last frame to video. So this is the exact endpoint. And by the way, this only exists in VO3.1. This is the new update, the VO3 itself doesn't have this. So essentially what this does is you upload the first frame, as you can see right here, the last frame and the prompt. What we're using is we're using the APIs. So this is uh, the API documentation. You can take a look at that as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here node by node. So as I mentioned, the first node uh, in NADN is always a trigger. In our case, this is a form submission. So the way to add a form is just plus click on the plus button here. You search for NADN form. And this is going to be the trigger, create on new form. So right, right now, the reason it's showing uh, this um, blurred is because right now this workflow is running. So once this is complete, I'll show you exactly how to build uh, this particular uh, form there with the different features. Uh, so the next step is once we upload those two images and the prompt, we need to now host that image somewhere online. And I'm using Cloudinary. So the way to use Cloudinary, so if I go to my... Let me quickly click on the account. So if you just click on go to cloudinary.com, you can create a, a free account. And what this is going to do, this is going to give you, I think, up to like 20 gigabytes of storage. So that way you can just create your or upload your images and assets and store it in the cloud. So I'm using the HTTP request node to reach out to Cloudinary's API. So that way we can use our automation. Same thing, the way to add the HTTP request node. So you're just going to click on this plus button. And this time I'm going to use HTTP request node. So this is basically the way for any attempt to reach out to different APIs. So an HTTP request node, when you're sending uh, a API request to generate some kind of a, a response, or, or if you're, in our case, uploading this, uh, our asset or images into Cloudinary, we're going to use a post method. And then the URL is going to be that endpoint that you're reaching out to for whatever task you're submitted. In our case, if I go inside this HTTP request node, as you can see right here, these are the two different images that we uploaded. So we're using a post request message. We're reaching out to this particular endpoint, which is apis.cloudinary.com and auto upload. So this is the endpoint that we're reaching to. And this is what it, what it's going to do is going to upload all of that assets, these, these, um, image in our case and give us a link so there as you can see on the right hand side this is the output and it gives us the url of where this image is hosted so in the bottom authentication we're using none because we're sending these body parameters now this particular body parameter this all comes from cloudinary's documentation again you don't have to use cloudinary you can use whatever image hosting that you're used to you can even use like um uh, google drive or um, um, other image hosting platforms as well. But in this particular situation, so this upload preset, this is basically the preset that's on Cloudinary's. It, so that's one of the requirements. And I've just named it N8N test. And once you create your account on Cloudinary, this will show you exactly where to create your preset there. And then as far as the parameter type, we're using this N8N binary file because we're uploading an image, right? So the file name is going to be first frame because that's what this particular frame uh, image's name is. So the reason why we're doing two uh, basically two different HTTP request nodes because we're uploading two different images, the first image and the, the first frame and the last frame. So same thing, this is the exact duplicate of that node, except this time I'm uploading this last frame right here. So this is gonna give us these two URLs, which on the next node, I'm just kind of cleaning it up. So I'm just using a set node to grab the URL from our first frame and just name it first frame and the last frame. So that way I just have to clean uh, image URLs here. Then I'm using this merge node just to basically clean it up and just have this nice two outputs name, first name and last frame, uh, and have those two uh, endpoints or those two URLs of the images that we're hosting. Now we're using another HTTP request node to reach to file.ai, which is basically right here. So this is going to be the endpoint. So if I click on submit request, 
this is what's happening. I'm using these documentations to pretty much reach out to that particular endpoint. And this is that endpoint, right? So file.ai slash VO 3.1 fast, first last, first last frame to video. So that's the endpoint that we have to reach to. The authentication, this is basically a header authentication, meaning you have to upload your API key from file. Once you do that, then afterwards, we're going to be sending headers. This is just content and application. Uh, slash JSON and this is where kind of the magic happens here. So the first frame URL We're just dragging dropping it right here, right? The last frame just like that, too um, By the way, this one because it was giving me an error. I had to add this particular um, Code here. So just add like these zeros and ones because for some reason from the merge node It was giving an error. So I just fixed it by using that. So just uh, if, you're, if you're not part of the community Obviously if you're part of the community, you can just download that blueprint You don't have to worry about anything, but if you're not just take a screenshot of this so that way you can uh, uh, Make yours the same the prompt that's coming in from our form submission, right? This is the exact prompt right here. The duration, I'm doing eight seconds, aspect ratio auto, resolution 1080p, generate audio true. All of this, again, is coming in from my VO3 documentation. So this is a sample request, as you can see right here. It looks exactly the same as mine. This is the data right here. If I go to the bottom, actually, there you go. This is this is what it looks like, right? As you can see, your first frame URL, which is your picture, uh, first frame image, the last frame image, the prompt, the duration, aspect ratio, resolution. The resolution, it accepts 720 or 1080p. Obviously, if you want to have an HD generation, then use a 1080p. But if you want to lower resolution, have 720. One important thing is the pricing aspect of it as well. So if I go to the playground here, scroll to the bottom, you'll see it says for every second of the video you generate, you will be charged 10 cents audio off or 50 cents audio on. For example, a five second video with audio on will cost you 75 cents. So an eight second video will be around a dollar or something, unless I did that math wrong. But anyway, so so this is basically us reaching out to file.ai to uh, get that VO3 prompt or get that uh, VO3.1 Im image uh, video generation. So there you go. Once we, we hit this endpoint, this is going to send all of that payload and the status is going to say in queue, which means that now this is being uploaded or this is being worked on. So therefore, the next node, I'm adding a wait node. And this is just a 30 second wait node. And to make sure that, you know, it's going to keep checking that endpoint. So the next step is adding a status node. So this is basically a Git request this time and which we're reaching out to this particular endpoint here. So this endpoint basically we're checking the status of the job that we just sent and the credentials is the same. The header authorization, we're not sending any body or any parameters. So now after this is sent, the next node is an if node. So this F node basically says that if the status is completed, move to the next node if not just go through this loop all over again so that way you keep checking it every 30 seconds to make sure that uh, your video is ready so afterwards if it's true we're going to reach out to another git request and grab the url of this video so this is the final output so if i now copy this and paste this on another um, browser this is what it looks like All right, very cool. So as you can see, so let me mute this. So the first frame was this, right? And then it kind of transitions into this, the monster kind of becomes live. It comes out of the picture and it turns into like a full body, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, this is very well made. Um, so again, use your imagination. You can create whatever it is that you desire, just like you saw in the intro of the video. Obviously, you can create stunning ads uh, for different products. You can create UGC ads. You can create ads for particular companies. I mean, this is a great way to uh, get into that market. And my NADN right now is hosted on the cloud platform. But if you're interested on self-hosting it on your own private server, check out uh, Hostinger's uh, Black Friday sale right now that they have going on for NA10 in particular. So this is a virtual private service that you can check out. I mean, right now, like I said, this is the best the best deal if you want to take advantage of. I would suggest using the KVM2 plan. So you click on choose plan here. What this is going to do is it's going to take you to the next page where now you have the ability to choose the period. So 24 months or 12 months. If you're using NADN for long term, I obviously I highly recommend using the 24 month because that will obviously give you the best deal there. Everything else you leave the same, same thing. The application makes sure that you have selected NADN here. And then on the right hand side, you can also click on have a coupon because Hostinger is our main channel sponsor. 
And if you just type AI workshop, click on apply, this is going to give you a further 10% discount, which brings your price to like $140 for 24 months, which again is $5.80. So that's ridiculous. Uh, so take advantage of that. And uh, after you uh, apply the coupon, you're going to click on continue. This is going to take you a page where you can go ahead and register. If it's the first time, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. All right, so once you log into your account, you're going to go ahead and add your billing address and the payment information, and you're going to click on install. It's going to take a couple of minutes, and it's going to bring you to your dashboard. All right, so once you're here, after you install, it's going to bring you to right here, and all you have to do is click on manage here, and this is going to open up your main dashboard here. Yours is going to look blank, but all you have to do is click on manage app here, and this is going to open up your own NADN on your own virtual private server. Obviously, if this is your first time, it's going to make you... Uh, sign up for a new account and once you have your account now you can create your workflows and now everything is hosted on your own virtual private server so make sure you check that out again take advantage of this uh, black friday sale um, and i'm going to put the link in the description as well so you can go ahead and just click on the link and then you can go ahead and sign up for everything and if you want to learn how to make money with ai make sure you join the community we have a beginner's course for nadn intermediate advanced level we have voice ai and most importantly, we have an Earn with AI, which is basically a five-week program where we show you exactly how to launch your AI agency. So that way you learn how to make money and monetize and take advantage of this amazing opportunity. We have people from all over the world. Uh, so if you want to learn and collaborate with people, it's a great space of like-minded individuals. We have calendar, we have calls. So that way, if you want to jump in and ask us any questions, we're there. And then obviously, if you want to you know, post your question. If you run into any kind of issues, you just post your question. Myself, my team will all jump in there to help you out to make sure we resolve your issues. So check out the link in the description. Hopefully you found this video helpful and make sure you like subscribe because I've got a lot of great content upcoming that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.